need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You use a query to answer a question that you have about the information stored in the database tables. You can then further analyze the results that the queries pull to produce even more information than the query itself displays. Reports are often based on query results, upon which they can perform additional mathematical and statistical calculations. Queries are also an excellent way to show information from related tables in a single result set, as the results that you pull from queries aren't limited to a single table. The power and flexibility of query design is the entire reason that you use database programs. They can quickly access, calculate, and summarize the records that they pull from the various database tables. Access provides you with a simple query wizard which you can use to initially create queries. However, do not rely too heavily on this tool, as at some point you will inevitably have to create a query that is more complex than this tool allows. For advanced queries, you must learn how to create a query in Query Design View versus using the wizard to create them. However, to create a simple query using the wizard, you can click the Query Wizard button that appears in the Queries button group called the Other button group in Access 2007 on the Create tab within the ribbon. In the new query dialog box that appears, you can see the ways in which you can create queries. Select the simple query wizard choice and then click the OK button to begin. In the first screen of the wizard, you must select the first table from which you will pull data by using the tables and queries drop down. Now once you have selected a table, the fields from that table will be displayed in the Available Fields list. To add a field from the table into the query, select its name within the Available Fields list and click the right pointing arrow button to move it into the Selected Fields list. Repeat this as needed, selecting the fields that you want to see within the query. When you're finished, click the Next button to continue. If you only selected fields from a single table in the first screen, then when you click the next button to continue, you will only need to provide the query with a name and then click the finish button to finish creating the query. If, however, you picked data fields from two or more related tables, then when you click the next button you will instead view a second screen which asks if you want a detail or a summary query. Now you can select the option button for the type of query that you want to create. If you select Summary, then you will be able to click the Summary Options button to open the Summary Options dialog box. Here you can select what type of summary to perform over a selected field. Then click the OK button to continue. Then click Next to continue. And in the next screen, if you selected detail on the previous screen, you will only need to name your query and then click the Finish button to create the query. If you selected Summary, and your summary includes dates, you may be presented with additional date grouping options. Continue to answer any questions as appropriate for your query, and click the Next button to continue until you reach the final screen, where you must type a name for your query, and then click the Finish button to create the query. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.